Hey, we're we're gonna tie a fly here that's so hot, it's it's hard to hard to even know. What do we? Oh yeah, a bleeding gill clouser. We're using a Pro Flexi tube because I, I want this hook to ride. This is gonna be a fairly long fly, so I want the hook to ride back here. I've already flared this end. I've melted it and I've uh, poked it to keep it open. So I'll leave a fair amount of space. I always like to finish my tube before. When you say finish, you mean melt and flare, flare it. Flare the end, and that just keeps the thread from coming off the end. Now, now if you're going to be absolutely uh, serious and use five minute epoxy, which is awesome, it becomes less important to flare that end. So, here we have our barbell eye. A little drop of normal cement there. This is DNA fusion. This is the belly. You can use wide bucktail also. So I want this nice and long. So we're going to put it out there. And get ready. These bleeding gills are coming right up. Now when I tie this on, there goes Chris to answer the phone. I wind right up by the eye. Wind behind. Uh-oh, time for the gills. Chinese red uni yarn. Grab a chunk of it. Uh, double it. Let's try quadrupling it. No, let's let's just let's just double it. So let's put a chunk there. Tie it in. One, three, four, five, six turns. Exactly. Never seven. Then we're gonna wind back over it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times next time around. Then wind forward. Now you're gonna just trim this off about there. There are your bleeding gills. We're gonna turn this over. So one of the color combinations that's really nice in salt water is red and blue and forest green. I got a little bit too much blue there. These different ocean bait fish have kind of a different cast to them. And while chartreuse and white is kind of a universal, notice how I'm gonna, as I match these colors in, each color I'm going to try to make a little bit longer to where the green is the longest. Come on, come on there. Let's pull that out just a little bit. There we go. Turn the butts. Now just in case I have some shorter ones in there, I'm going to try to get the short ones out. There we go. Trim again. So then lightly secured first. Oops. So the reason I oops, I want to bring this a little bit further forward so that the the head finishes closer to the end of the tube. And that started to twist on me, so I'm gonna get it back into position. I'm going to trim a little bit there and a little bit here. And now I'm going to add our multicolor crystal flash topping. I'll make that the longest section. And among the crystal flashes, the multicolored crystal flash is. Uh, how should I say this? Um, it, t it tends to be more kink resistant. Um, it's firm. It has kind of a moderate amount of flash. Uh, not too much, not too little. I really like it. And with the different colors, it, it gives, you know, gives kind of a really nice effect. Let's try that one more time. Now, why am I putting several whip finishes? 
because I'm probably not going to epoxy that head and these fish, you, you catch a bunch of fish on these flies and they get chewy, the fish get chewy so when you have more than one whip finish it makes the fly quite durable. So see how that hook with that long tube rides right near the rear. Now here, here's something, <laughs> I've got the belly the white too long on this fly you don't want the belly I mean it'll it'll work but you want the belly to be the same length or a little bit shorter than the back so shorten that up after the fact there you have the bleeding gills what an awesome clouser